like wanting to see me fail <laughs> for literally like 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 they're suing me for something i didn't do mike tyson just gave jake paul the kind of public humiliation you'd expect from a reality tv show but with way more punches and way less dignity you've probably heard the gossip about jake's lawsuits new rules and all that jazz but this latest revelation it's so insane it'll make jake's previous blunders look like a walk in the park seriously if jake knew tyson had this ace up his sleeve he might have just packed his bags and stayed out of the ring he should know Tyson's got this uncanny ability to sniff out secrets like a bloodhound. And no matter how tight Jake's crew thinks they are, Tyson's still one step ahead. I know, Jake Paul's antics are really exhausting. But let's be real, no one's on Tyson's level. Sometimes I think, Tyson, focus on your health, man. Don't waste your time on Jake's daily drama. But then I think, what if someone challenged my dignity, skills, and experience? I'd want to set the record straight. And Mike Tyson's definitely not one to let it slide, and even when the opponent first begged for a fight and then do strategic cheating. And as we know, Tyson, the boxing beast who was taking names and crushing souls, officially hung up his gloves after his bout with Kevin McBride in 2005. That fight was supposed to be his last hurrah, and it wasn't exactly the grand exit we all pictured. At 38, Tyson's ferocity seemed like a distant memory. He retired with a legacy of epic victories and equally epic controversies. The Iron Mike we all knew was on a break, and who could blame him? Fast forward to 2020, and Tyson decided to dust off his gloves for a charity exhibition match against Roy Jones Jr. Although according to Joe Rogan, it was fixed as he said, The Roy Jones fight, they made an agreement not to punch in the head. I'm pretty sure because I watched that fight carefully many times and it de never looked like he was targeting Roy's head, which makes sense why Roy agreed to do the fight, mm -hmm. you know? And back then at 55, Tyson came back with some impressive moves that made fans nostalgic and reminded them why they fell in love with boxing in the first place. Then we have your favorite Jake Paul. Okay, don't get offended, it was an intended pun. So this guy's been making waves not by knocking out professional boxers, but by throwing punches at internet stardom and trash talking like there's no tomorrow. Paul's transition from YouTube antics to boxing has been nothing short of controversy. His victories over other social media stars and retired athletes have made him this controversial but intriguing figure in the boxing world. And here's how Jake's brushing off all these accusations. Hate the world we're living in. That's what I'm saying. It, it sucks. It's so it's so bad. Misinformation and disinformation on the internet right right now is rampant. Because nobody has the intellect to be able to form opinion. But you might think if Mike was so confident about Jake's bad reputation, why he agreed to step in the ring with him? Well, Tyson's acceptance wasn't just about proving he could still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a younger fighter. Instead, he wanted to remind everyone that boxing is more than just hype. And Jake Paul's hype machine was cranking out some pretty wild claims, and this one was just par for the course. Calling yourself the future of boxing and saying you'll retire the legendary Iron Mike once and for all? That's like a toddler challenging a seasoned superhero to a duel. The boxing world, understandably, was a mix of skeptical snickers and outright disbelief. Everyone was itching to see if Jake could back up his big talk or if it was just another case of internet hype. Just have a look at the confidence, man. If I mean, if Mike Tyson says, let's do this, are you down? 100%. Whoa. 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 But on the other hand, as the fight loomed closer, Tyson's training routine became the talk of the town. At 55, Tyson's not just easing into retirement, he's going full throttle. Under the watchful eye of his trainer, Rafael Cordero, Tyson's been sweating buckets, shedding pounds, and getting back some of that ferocious speed and power that made him a household name. Those training videos of Tyson pounding the pads like a man possessed? Now please don't ask me about Jake Paul's training routine, that was a real treat. He's been out there posting workout videos and showing off his muscles like he's auditioning for a fitness infomercial. But let's be real, not everyone's buying into the hype. Tyson, meanwhile, was just going about his business until he caught wind of something so disappointing about Jake that even he couldn't brush it off. But before I spill the beans, have you ever noticed how Jake's muscles seem to grow faster than a Chia pet and his stamina never seems to run out? Yes, you are almost there. So just five days after Jake Paul's little tiff with Mike Perry, Tyson got some news that shook him apart. 
On July 25, 2024, Tyson went on air and publicly accused Jake of using performance-enhancing drugs. I'm not against steroids and none of that stuff, right? Because everybody's using it, right? But it shouldn't be used. He didn't just whisper it, he practically shouted it from the rooftops. Now, Tyson's not one to go off on a tangent about stuff that doesn't matter. He's got real beef with steroids, especially in boxing. I mean, steroids in boxing. The stakes are way higher when you're talking about punches that could literally rearrange someone's face. Tyson's got this hardcore respect for boxing, and he made it crystal clear. It's criminal. You hit a man after it, it's attempted murder. That's some heavy stuff right there. In a sport where every punch can be a game changer, steroids aren't just about bending the rules, they're about risking lives. Tyson's words struck a nerve with fans and fighters alike. Everyone got it. This wasn't just about cheating. It was about ensuring the safety of everyone in the ring. And get this, Dana White, the UFC president, had thrown some shade Jake's way back in April 2023, hinting at possible steroid use. I believe that you're a cheater, and I believe that you use steroids. So I want to randomly steroid test you for the next two years. At the time, people thought White was just trying to stir the pot after Jake had gone after him in terms of cocaine and such humiliation. Here is that video that puts Dana on fire. I use cocaine. I'm in St. Bart's, one of the nicest beaches in the world. You're ruining my vacation. We were on a yacht party last night, Meek Mill, Drake, everybody, Mike Tyson going crazy. You have been caught with cocaine and hookers every other week. But after two years, Tyson's recent revelations gave a whole new dimension to White's accusations. What once seemed like petty squabbling now looked like it had some serious weight behind it. One of the biggest spectacles was Tyson's guest appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. July 28, 2024, marked the day when Tyson sat down with Rogan and laid it all out. Tyson, being his candid self, revealed he'd been using DMT as part of his training. I did this toe, this DMT stuff, right. and I, yes, I lost that. So DMT, dimethyltryptamine, if you want to get technical, isn't your everyday supplement. Tyson decided to take a dip into this psychedelic pool, and it's not just about getting a buzz. Nope. He's using the venom from the Colorado River Toad to get his head and body in top shape. Talk about a natural high. Tyson's all about shedding those mental cobwebs, losing weight, and getting fit in a way that's more spiritual journey than gym grind. It's a bit like he's channeling his inner shaman while Jake Paul is allegedly living in a world of synthetic shortcuts. Tyson further said, right there. Yeah. That wasn't really cool. That's in the so it's your Tyson, honest, quirky, and totally unfiltered. So how did Jake Paul handle Tyson's allegations? Initially, Paul went into full denial mode, taking to social media to slam Tyson's claims as a smear campaign. He painted himself as a hardworking underdog, accusing Tyson of trying to sabotage him, and he even cried, man. But People just like attacking Jake Paul and like wanting to see me fail. <laughs> for literally like fucking nothing like like they're suing me for something i didn't do like on god it's just the most bullshit thing paul threw up a bunch of evidence his intense training routine his clean drug tests and his supposedly rock solid dedication he even dared tyson to prove the accusations betting that no evidence would surface bold move right but the internet wasn't having any of it now, if you're even remotely thinking Tyson would just let this slide after all this nonsense, check out what he said to Damon Elliott recently. What are you eating raw meat like? Seriously, Mike, you're eating raw meat. Are you, are you swallowing it? Or remember, you used to spit that stuff out. What are you eating? Raw meat. Ra like, seriously, Mike, you're eating raw meat. Are you, are you swallowing it? Or remember, you used to spit that stuff well, out. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat it now because my opponent's going to be raw meat. That's right. I have to fam in the family. You know. Wow, it's like animal. It's like you're going to the animal. You're going right to the animal ling linguistics. You're going. You're like I see it in your eyes. It's getting scary. It, I don't know if beautiful is the word. It's gonna be scary. Everything is scary. Yeah, I don't know how much you're scared of how beautiful it may be. Yeah, well, I I'm loving this. I fun. I I think we need to as soon as the sh as soon as the um, fight's over, we need to go smoke a little bit. Maybe so. I got a lot. Of people, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of pent up aggression. People that are close. To me, I, I know that's right. And I know who you're talking about. We'll leave that alone. 
Um, but it's good because, you know, I know you're a gentle giant, but not in that ring, brother. So I'm, it, and they might, can I come down to the training facility and, and can we film some right of that down the street? All right, I'm gonna come down. So Gino, I'm gonna send you down there because- Give me two weeks and you'll come down there and hang out with me. All right. You gotta interview me. What do you mean? No, he's not talking about raw fish meat here like your sushi dish. With Tyson, you gotta expect both literal and symbolic meanings, just not anything human for crying out loud. Tyson's whole approach was a masterclass in psychological warfare. It wasn't just about getting fit. It was about rattling Paul's cage. I might have to eat it now because my opponent going to be raw meat. That's that was, my opponent going to be raw meat. That's right. I have to think. Just go ask big names like Lennox Lewis and Max Kellerman, and they'll back up Tyson's side of things. I mean, this is the guy who literally bit Holyfield's ear off. So yeah, he could probably take a bite out of Jake Paul too. And with Tyson's revelation about the PEDs, it's going to be tough for him to let this slide. Now, Joe Rogan, he had this take that fighting someone like Jake Paul, who's seen as a bit of a loose cannon in boxing, would be an insult to Tyson. Rogan's basically saying, why would Tyson waste his time? But Tyson, in true Tyson fashion, just laughs it off. I might have liked my, um, no, it doesn't. I don't know. I think it's awesome. It is awesome. You think it's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome that you handle it that way, because like in a way, I mean, it's it's kind of insulting. No, it doesn't. I don't no? think, I think it's awesome. You think it's awesome? <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to piss me <laughs> off. I think it's awesome. Oh, cool. <laughs> you think it's cool? That's awesome. That's awesome that you, you handle it that way. Because like, in a way, I mean, it's it's kind of insulting. So when Joe Rogan asked Tyson why he's putting up with all this nonsense from Paul when he's known for not taking crap from anyone, even random folks at the mall, Tyson had this to say, I put so much of myself into buckling my emotions and everything that was magnificent. I put so much of myself into buckling my emotions and everything. That was magnificent. That was In other words, Tyson's working hard to keep his cool and channel his energy into this fight. But let's be real, November 15th is going to be a show like no other, way beyond what you're expecting. And if you're a Tyson fan, skipping updates from this channel would be like committing a crime. So don't even think twice. Hit that subscribe button below and make sure you catch every single detail about Tyson and that troublemaker YouTuber who's about to get absolutely demolished in just a few days.